because I'm on this great diet. It's called poverty. <laughs> I lost 12 pounds last month, and all I had to do was stop being able to afford to eat. But <laughs> it seems to be working. <laughs> um, I'm from the U.S., uh, but my family immigrated from Egypt. So growing up in the States, um, I, like in an Arab household, I would observe other minorities sort of reclaiming or taking back negative or discriminatory words that were used against them and like making a positive. Like black people sort of reclaimed the N word and um, gay people kind of did that with the word queer. And Arabs, um, we have a lot that we could take back, but not so much that we could make positive. <laughs> I wish we had something like that that we could say. Like, I don't know what we would say to each other, like, yo, tall head. <laughs> You're really terrorizing me up in this bitch. Stop my submissive woman. I'm gonna get stoned, but not in the fun way. Give me time, it'll get cold. Um, just so we're all on the same page, because I don't know if everyone knows the rules, right? Like with veiled women who are in hijab or a burqa. Um, as a fellow woman, I'm allowed to see them without it on. So if you guys want to see some exclusive pics, <laughs> hit me up. Um, you know like the celebrity upskirt websites? Um, it's an up veil website. Arabs unveiled. <laughs> um, God, that's so inappropriate. <laughs> um, I honestly don't have the budget for like celebrities, so it's pretty much just my friends. <laughs> I know my way around their house, so I can know where to put the cameras. It's cool. <laughs> I live in London. Is anyone here from London? <laughs> All of you. All right. Um, I live next to an underground station, um, right, like next to the tube, and I'm always getting accosted by these like charity workers who, they're always like, "Can you spare a moment for the children?" And I do because I'm a fucking humanitarian. And um, they're, they're like, "Have you read about the problems in Africa?" I'm like, "No, I, I've never. I don't. I don't." I don't read. Reading. Uh, is there a porn about it, geek? I don't say that, but like, if they, if they hadn't stopped me though, like, I, I would still be like hiring kids to sell blood diamonds for me on eBay. So, it's a really good thing now I know not to do that because their fingers are far too small to properly cleave a conflict diamond. It's getting really poor reviews on my eBay page, so I don't understand. Really tiny thumbs down. Uh, now I just like don't roast babies on a spit over an open fire anymore. That's terrible for the environment. <laughs> Baby fumes deplete the ozone layer. And, uh, now I just dice them up and put them in a casserole. Well contained. Um, I had a quote that they told me was unethical, and um, it was just made out of live babies sewn together. Um, so now I know uh, the workers in Asia who assemble these coats work under really terrible conditions. <laughs> Long working hours, below minimum wage, you have to make their own babies. <laughs> Obviously, I had to burn it when I learned that. Uh, I can't have that hanging over my conscience. How do you sleep at night? You know? But uh, they were like, Did you know that the, the kids in Africa who go around begging for money because they have HIV or AIDS, did you know they were born that way? I was like, No, I had no idea. I was mailing them condoms because I thought they were whores. <laughs> idea, so um, now I just mail condoms to their war moms. Really glad they set me straight. Um, I hate condoms. Um, that's like a, that's a complaint. Can I say that? I hate, responsibility is good. Everyone should be responsible. But like, um, I don't even hate flavored condoms. I just hate like the flavors of flavored condoms. <laughs> Um, because, like, flavored condoms are a system of exchange. Like, you perform a sexual act and you get a flavor in return, right? That's how it works. So, but then they're, like, sugary and artificial. So, like, we're all consenting adults here. Like, not right now, but, like, <laughs> oh, no. Um, but we're too old to be bribed with sweets. It reminds me of when you go to the doctor and you're, like, given candy, like, if you don't cry. Like, please just have this. It'll taste like cherry. Just please don't cry. Um, so, uh, it's a lollipop. It's a disembodied, invisible cock with a cherry condom on it. I'm sorry. I'm waving it in your face. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, my palette is far too complex 
for that. Um, I much prefer like bacon condoms <laughs> or cheeseburger with extra pickles and no onions condoms. Um, I don't know, spaghetti bolognese condoms, <laughs> baby spinach salad, tropical like, vinaigrette condoms. I don't see anyone taking notes. <laughs> I'm doing this for you guys because you seem like nice people who I might like to have a feast with later. <laughs> Porterhouse steak with Canadian steak seasoning, rubbed and left to set for about 20 minutes and then like grill it on each side to your liking of wellness. Um, I like sort of medium well because I don't like too much blood in this situation. But, uh, it's a judgment call. I wouldn't tell you guys how to live your lives. So, scalloped potatoes, fucking mushroom sauce, creme brulee, 2005, Napa Valley, Calvary's and Fidel condoms. <laughs> I have to think of all the ideas and nothing good gets done, so you're welcome. <laughs> I'm going to leave you guys with an impression. It's my only one. If you don't like it, it's my only one. So, um, it goes like this. Hey, sister. Hey, how's it going? Well, I just got recognized at the bar and they've been giving me free drinks all night. Oh my god, me too. High five. That's my impression of boobs. <laughs> Um, we want to have a good time, but like sensibly. So, thanks very much. You guys have been lovely. I'm done.